to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Your stuff's in the storage cabinet. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight out. You'll have quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. You don't have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. Quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. You sure are curious, aren't you? Yeah, this is what I do all day. Hey, don't touch that. shouldn't talk about it. It's really not my business. Not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? 
because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kinda busy here. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time, but I gotta keep my eye on this. If you wanna crawl around in there, go ahead. If not, you can get out of here. What? Hey, what the hell's going on up there? This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. The equipment seems to be affected by something unseen.
passage doesn't go all the way there, you'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your set's got plenty of oxygen. Well, what the hell are you waiting for, Marine? Get going. This is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Attempting 
need to secure the area. Audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over at Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure.
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailant. Thank you. 